Hello and welcome to The Print. Uh, I'm Sharon Puwana. The entire Karnataka government, led by Chief Minister Sidramaya, his Council of Ministers and other leaders from the Congress are in Delhi today, holding a protest in the national capital. Though the Karnataka government has held protests in Delhi, this is probably the first time that the entire ruling party has been mobilized. So what is this protest about? The Congress-led Karnataka government has accused the Prime Minister Narendra Modi-led Union government of neglecting the interests of the southern state. With this, Karnataka joins Kerala, Telangana and Tamil Nadu to oppose uh, the centre's policies regarding tax devolution and grants to states. Tax devolution is to make recommendations for distribution uh, of the net proceeds of taxes between the union and states uh, as per the recommendations given by the Finance Commission. Sidramaya and even the Janata Dal Secular, or JDS, now an ally of the BJP, in the past have accused the union government of consistently reducing the state share in taxes. According to the Karnataka government, the total share of Karnataka from the centre has reduced from 4.7% as recommended by the 14th Finance Commission to 3.65% as recommended by the 15th Finance Commission. This, Sidramaya says, has resulted in a loss of over 75,000 crores. So if the centre reduces devolution, then the states have to rely on increasing taxes like excise, transport, stamps and registrations, among another few. And also, they will be forced to take loans to finance their big ticket projects, which increases the total liabilities of the state. The matter assumes importance uh, as the 16th Finance Commission, the only body that can recommend uh, changes to tax devolution and grants formula, has to submit its report by October 2025. The Karnataka government has raised its voice against what it calls injustice to the people of the state. The office of the Deputy Chief Minister, DK Shivkumar, has also released a picture in which it shows that for every 100 rupees of direct taxes paid by Karnataka, only 13.9 rupees comes back. This in comparison with Bihar, which gets about 922 rupees, Uttar Pradesh, which gets about 333 rupees, and Arunachal Pradesh, which gets about 4,800 rupees. Most southern states like Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka get around just half of what is paid to the center in direct taxes. Of course, there are bigger states like Maharashtra and Gujarat who also get a lower share. The Karnataka government has called this an attempt at punishing well-performing states. This is not the first time that southern states have come together as they've earlier come together on the issue of perceived imposition of Hindi. Meanwhile, the BJP has termed this as an attempt of the Congress to deflect attention from the big ticket guarantees. The BJP MP from Karnataka, from Mysore Kodugu, Pratap Simha, has said that minerals from northern India has helped Karnataka grow. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has said that the rate of devolution of the states has nothing to do with the government of India, but is recommended by the Finance Commission. She even said that false narratives are being peddled by vested interests to suit their agenda. Now, the reason Karnataka is taking it up in such a big manner this time is also that it's an election year. Politically, the Congress is trying to corner the BJP ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. In 2019, the BJP won about 25 out of the 28 Lok Sabha seats in Karnataka. And now it's trying to tell the voters that voting for the BJP is not in the best interest of the state. After the Congress managed to defeat the BJP in the May 2023, three elections. This strategy is to sort of send a message in favor of a narrative that voting for the BJP is not in the best interest of the state, its farmers or any other section. Thank you for watching.